Hello friends, I am Dr. Marathi from Department of Mycology. Today I will explain one of the pathway, important pathway. Its name is phosphoketolase pathway. This pathway shows some similarity with glycolysis and ED pathway. Half of the pathway of ED and phosphoketolase. These are same. Means the reactions are same. Enzymes are also same. Okay. So generally, when we say phosphoketolase pathway, it also represents one of the lactic acid fermentation pathway. Because lactic acid fermentation occurs by two ways. One, it is known as homolactic fermentation, and second, that is known as heterolactic fermentation. So, heterolactic fermentation, in which along with the lactic acid, other byproducts are produced. Okay, so the that pathway is similar to the phosphoketolase pathway. That means phosphoketolase pathway and heterolactic fermentation pathway both are same. Okay, so let us start the phosphoketolase pathway. It starts with the glucose. Okay, the first reaction of this pathway, which is similar to the glycolysis. This is alpha D glucose. Now the first enzyme in this pathway, which is similar to the first reaction of the glycolysis, that is glucokinase. Ultimately, during the reaction, ATP acts as a phosphate group donor. So ATP donates the phosphate group and that phosphate group is linked to the carbon number 6 of glucose ring. Okay, so the structure becomes Oxidation. Okay, then the next step, oxidation occurs. This time, oxidation means electron acceptor is NADP. NADP. It gets reduced to NADPH plus H plus. Okay, due to the acceptance of two hydrogen atoms or two electrons, it gets reduced to NADPH plus H plus. Okay, ultimately. This enzyme which catalyzes the reaction is known as glucose 6 phosphate D hydrogenase. The name of the enzyme is glucose 6 phosphate D hydrogenase. Okay? Now, what happens? These two hydrogen atoms from this ring which are removed. I will encircle those two hydrogen atoms, one and this is the another one. So ultimately, due to the loss of these two hydrogen atoms, C double bond O is created. So the structure becomes Now the name of this compound is 6 phosphoglucono delta lactone. Is 6 phosphoglucono delta 
lactone. This is the lactone ring. As the carbon number one, there is a formation of ketonic group. That's why this is what a lactone ring. So carbon number or the carbon number six phosphate group is attached. That's why six phospho glucose. And there is a uh, on the delta position there is a C O three O. That's why it is called as a delta lactone. Okay. Now further enzyme. In the next reaction, the enzyme lactonase. In the next reaction, enzyme lactonase it acts on the six phosphoglucose delta lactone, and the ring is open. So how this ring is open? Which bond is broken down? C. The bond between this carbon and oxygen is broken down. So the ring, ring automatically opens, and the structure becomes. COOH, HCOH, OHCH, HCOH, HCOH, and CH2OP, CH2OP. Okay. Now this is the six carbon structure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the carbon number six phosphate group is already there. Okay. And when this bond is broken down, simultaneously it is accompanied by hydrolysis, means lysis of water. Lysis of water. Due to the lysis of water, hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ions are created. Okay, so that hydroxyl ion goes along with this CO and hydroxyl means OH. COOH. Okay, now HCOH as it is, OHCH as it is. HCOH on the carbon number four as it is. This HCO and whatever the hydrogen is remain from what the hydrolysis of water. So that was OH HCOH and finally on the carbon number six it is CH2OP. Okay. Next reaction. In the next reaction. So this this name name of this compound is what cis phospho gluconate means this is gluconic acid and to the carbon number six of this gluconic acid phosphate is attached that's why the name of this compound is cis phospho gluconate or gluconic acid okay now in the next reaction what I can see this ring. During the next reaction, what happens? CO2 it is removed. What is removed? CO2 carbon dioxide is removed. From where and from which group the carbon dioxide is removed? I will encircle it. See this one. This COO minus is removed in the form of carbon dioxide. And another oxidation occurs. Another oxidation occurs. This time. The oxidation, you uh, see the oxidation process. NADP is again involved. NAD, NADP is reduced to NADPH plus H plus. Okay, so to these two hydrogen atoms, these are derived from. I will insert this, this one, and this one. So these two hydrogen atoms are removed from the six phosphogluconate. They are accepted by NADP. Gets reduced to NADPH plus H plus. Okay. So this enzyme is known as six phosphogluconate dehydrogenase. The name of the enzyme is what? Six phosphogluconate dehydrogenase. As the dehydrogenation reaction occurs, that's why it is called as a dehydrogenase. Okay. Now, so after removal of two hydrogen atoms. And decarbonization process, the structure remains. That is what CH2OH, CHH means CH2, that is OH. On the carbon number two, the ketonic group is created due to the loss of two hydrogen atoms. Okay, and remaining structure is same. HCOH, HCOH, and CH2. OP CH2 OP Now this structure 
is nothing but what? Ribulose triphosphate. Ribulose five phosphate. What is the name of this compound? Ribulose five phosphate. In the subsequent reaction, isomerization process occurs. Okay, so due to the isolation, by the enzyme, isomerase, by the enzyme, isomerase, what I can see, the ribulose five phosphate, it is isomerized to its isomer and that is xylulose five phosphate. So what change occurs? Change occurs in carbon number three. So what is that change? CH2OP, C double bond O. Okay, then C in this case, earlier there was a hydroxyl group on the right side, now it is on the left side. Okay, then HCOH and CH2OP. This is known as xylulose 5 phosphate. This is known as xylulose 5 phosphate. Okay, now this xylulose 5 phosphate then undergoes the splitting process. Splitting. Okay, and that splitting is carried out by that splitting. I'll show you here. Okay, now this splitting, splitting occurs here. Sorry, not here. It occurs here. Okay, and simultaneously there is an addition of there is the addition of Pi, means inorganic phosphate. Okay, and why the name of this pathway is phosphoketonase pathway? You will come to know that this splitting is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphoketonase. Phosphoketonase. So this phosphoketonase splits the xylulose 5 phosphate into two compounds from carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 a two carbon structure is formed that two carbon structure is nothing but what CH3 C double bond O O P ok this is known as acetyl phosphate acetyl phosphate ok so and from the remaining three carbon structure, the well-known compound which is the intermediate of glycolysis, it is formed and that is what glycerol type 3 phosphate C double bond O H HCOH and CH2OP. This is G3P glycerol type 3 phosphate which is the intermediate of glycolysis. All of you know we have already studied the glycolysis. So remaining pathway of the glycolysis. Starting from this, this okay. So, end product form is called as pyruvic acid, okay. Through the remainder of the glycolysis, enzymes of the glycolysis, they convert this glucose, this energy phosphate to 1 3 diphosphoglycerate, then 3 phosphoglycerate, then 2 phosphoglycerate, then phosphoenol pyruvate, and finally pyruvic acid, okay. Now, that pyruvic acid can undergo again. The reduction process when it enters into the fermentation pathway, and from that, lactic acid is formed. Lactic acid is formed. Okay, now regarding the last two reactions, what happens after this one? Acetyl phosphate undergoes, undergoes reduction. Okay, reduction, and reduction is carried out by the enzyme. Acetyl phosphate dehydrogenase. Acetyl phosphate dehydrogenase. And in this case, electron accept donor. Donor is NaBH plus H plus to NaB plus. NaBH plus H plus. It gets oxidized to NaD plus. It donates the two hydrogen atoms to acetyl phosphate during the reaction. Pi means inorganic phosphate is removed. Okay, so what it means? CH3, C, H, O. Okay, this is known as acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. 
okay then subsequent reduction of course by the enzyme acetal dehydrogenase de 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 okay and what is formed same component is there NADH plus H plus it donates the electron it gets oxidized to NAD plus and due to that there is a formation of CH3 CH2 OH CH3 CH2 OH that is known as ethanol what is its name? its name is ethanol so this ethanol is the end product it is a byproduct okay means along with the lactic acid the ethanol is also formed okay so after the whole phosphobutylase pathway in which the key enzyme is phosphobutylase okay, it forms two products a lactic acid and ethanol okay i hope you must have understood this pathway okay thank you very much